Good evening, Miss Tate. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. I'm sorry, but who are you? I go by many names. Today it's Mr. Cypher. Since I'm such an old family friend, you can call me Lou. I'm here for your grandfather's soul. His soul? <laughs> so what, that would make you... Prince of Darkness, yes. My grandfather would never sell his soul to you. True. Terence Tate wouldn't. However, his father, your great-grandfather, was less principled. He sold his eternal soul to ensure the success of your family diner. Okay, but what does that have to do with my grandfather? When Terence learned what his father had done, he couldn't bear the thought of dear old dad spending eternity in the fiery pits of hell, so... So, he offered his soul to save his father's? Yes. Which leads us to you. You want my soul in exchange for Pops? Not at all. Just the diner. And then your sweet grandfather will be free of his obligation to me. The diner? That's it? That's it. Think it over, Miss Tate, and let me know. But don't take too long. Your grandfather's heart is liable to give out at any minute. Hey, you. Hi. How's Pop? He's stable, at least. How are you? Are you okay? Unsettled. This stranger showed up at the hospital with a claim on Pop's soul. Does this mean he's... So it would appear. But he's willing to release Pop's soul in exchange for the diner. What does the devil want with the chocolate shop? I have no idea. You mind if I ask him? Maybe some other questions? By all means.